All right, guys. Here to do my Daytona 500 review. Uh, I'm wearing my Charlie NASCAR sunglasses here. <laughs> uh, he has one kind of similar. But uh, before I get to the 500 review, let's uh, steal everybody out there. Please pray for Ryan Newman and his family. Uh, just because they said that he has no life-threatening injuries don't mean that he's going to come out of this okay. Because whenever you're in serious condition and, you know, he may have really, really bad head injury, he could be paralyzed, Some, you know, anything can happen. I mean, with a serious conditioning. So, uh, you know, thank goodness that he is awake and stuff. But please keep praying for him because he may never get to race again. And who knows? Maybe a year, half a year, a year, he might be back in that car. Who knows? But uh, I'm afraid that that lick air may have done it for him. Uh, that was a hard, hard crash to take. Uh, coming down to the white flag, and for all the people out there that is blaming Ryan Blaney, I, I, I just don't want to hear that. Ryan Blaney done what everybody else done all day long. And that was to try to push him. And whenever Ron Blaney pushed him, he just couldn't control the car. That's the that that's the downfall of, the, of this of the Daytona Talladega packages. Go back to Ricky Stenthouse, Joey Logano, who was way too aggressive today, cost way too many wrecks, too many cars. Uh, Logano, uh, I don't know, I don't know what he's thinking. Brad had to talk with him the other day, but he didn't listen. Took Brad out again. Uh, you know, you can't with these cars the way they are. You can't push like that. And NASCAR should have known that before the race started. And they should have had, they should have a rule planted saying no pushing. If you push, it's on a, it's a drive-through penalty or something. Because uh, these cars nowadays are too fast, for one thing. 205 mile an hour is too fast. Uh, they need to be around 180, 190, somewhere in that area. Uh to see better racing and better quality. But anyway, that's, I just wanted to talk about that. But let's get to the race here. We started out Sunday. Uh, you know, we had a, a good single file start to the race. We only got in 20 laps before it started raining. Obviously, before the race started, the president was there. The president showed up at the track and all that, which is really cool. Uh, and uh, we got in his 20 laps, and then we, today we had a, the race at 4 o'clock. Uh, and uh, stage one, let me get, this is the reason why I don't like Talladega and Daytona, especially these races. Uh, personally, this is my preference only. It's people don't care about the points. Some do, some don't. But mostly people don't. Uh, you got two laps to go in stage one. You got 12 cars battling for the top 10. You got 10 or 15 cars and half a track behind running 30 mile an hour slower, 40, 50 mile an hour slower, trying to save fuel. They, they could care less whether or not they got to the, what happened in that stage. I hate that. That's not racing. Racing's where you try to race to go to the front like they used to. And instead they're it just, I just don't like it. I didn't think, I didn't think it was good. Uh, you know, then once we got to stage two, and we got these packs and the Toyotas was running up there, and uh, they they had it going till they got split up. I know my boy got split up Truex whenever uh, he run over that gas skin on the track or pit road. That really messed him up. So he kind of laid back there, and then he tried to go. And I know I knew he was going to get involved in wreck. Remember, I told you guys we get, we wreck every day, Tony Talladega. Maybe that's why I hate it so much. <laughs> but uh, I know that was going to happen. I know we was going to have multiple car wrecks. And uh, there towards one, one other thing, too, was uh, whenever Ricky Stenthouse got penalized for going below the line, I do not agree with that. I know Stenthouse wrecks a lot of people and stuff, guys. And I know he took out uh, the 24 car, which I hated to see that. But if you watch the replay, Joey Logano just shoots out like he's just going left. Uh, Stenhouse didn't have a choice. He, I mean, he had to to dart left, you know. 
Anybody in that position would have done that. I don't care who you are. Anybody that's a driver or not a driver, if you see somebody do like this, you're going to go with them and try to avoid them. So I think it's a bad judgment call on that score. I don't like that call. Uh, I think it needs to be if he was actually trying to pass him and done it, that's different. But he wasn't trying to pass him. He was trying to avoid him. So uh, I'm taking up for Ricky on that one. And there's not many times I do take up for Ricky, but I have to take up for him. Uh, going later on in the race, you know, Denny Hamlin, obviously Denny Hamlin's like the Dale Earnhardt of uh, restrictor play race. And he, he just, he's got that yank for it. He knows when to go. He takes chances, does this and that. Uh, he really set himself up pretty good there. And not to mention, going back, Kyle Busch, all you Kyle Busch fans, he, he blew up, blew an engine. Uh, there at the end of the race, we had, what, maybe 18 cars left? At that, that was actually competitive, 15 to 18. Uh, you know, uh, it was weird. The way the cars draft now is weird. It's, it's not like the old school draft. The, it's just kind of strange. Like the bottom groove can't go nowhere. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just, it ain't the same. But uh, anyway, get back to the, towards the end of the race, the 500, uh, we all know what happened. Ryan Newman was two seconds, guys. That's how fast this happened. Two seconds away from winning the Daytona 500. That's how close he was from winning it. And whenever he got turned within those two seconds, that's all it took. And then Denny Hamlin beat Ryan Blaney back to the line by maybe a foot, and just a little over a foot. Second closest finish ever, considering uh, Denny Hamlin beat Truex by a lock of foot to the line in 2016. So uh, Denny makes it interesting. You got to give him that much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's just my take on it. Uh, Fox. And NASCAR should really do a better job when somebody's injured uh, or hurt like that. Uh, I think they should really give updates, at least an update, say, an hour later. Uh, you know, say, you know, he's alive at least. You know, you know, come out with some kind of update. But they took forever to do that. And for Fox to keep showing that video, they put it on Twitter. This is what pissed me off, was they put it on Twitter to let everybody watch it. Nobody wanted to see that because they didn't know what what's going on with them or nothing. People was begging them to take it off. And here they are showing two screens. One of them was Ryan Newman upside down with fire spinning down through air. And the other screen was Denny Hamlin sitting there going like this. I'm like, come on, guys, get it together. I mean, seriously, Fox Sports, you need you got some work to do. Uh, no wonder there are Walter left. I can't blame him. Because uh, the guy up in there, I know a lot of you guys may have been Gordon fans before, but he's running the show now. And that's uh, that's why Walter got out of there. But, uh, and Mike Joy will be gone within a year or two, too. But uh, I, just, I, I just think that uh, they could have done a little bit better of a job than what they've done uh, with everything. That NASCAR period this whole weekend, I mean, they, they messed up a lot of stuff. People I work with was pissed because of false advertisement. I was talking about, yes. They said the race started at 2.30. I seen it, uh, the commercial on TV. And it was 4 o'clock before they even threw the green flag. So get it together, Fox Sports. Can't wait till NBC comes back up because they're so much better. So much better. But that's my take on it. As of the race, I'm giving it a four out of 10, just because of the, uh, I don't like seeing cars crash all the time. I won't see racing. I don't want to see wreck, 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 wreck. I will see people passing. Can't wait to Vegas where we get some real racing and uh, go from there. But thank goodness uh, we didn't get the uh, worst of worse. It could have been a lot worse here tonight. So uh, everybody still pray for Ryan Newman. Everybody have a good one. I haven't checked the pick five contest yet. If you have one, send me a message. I will ever look at been working, doing all this stuff, catching up with it. So just ain't that time. But uh, everybody, see everybody later. Have a good one. Subscribe.